Yo, what's up, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe, share the video, subscribe to the channel. We have 251 subscribers. Subscribe to the channel. Follow your boy on social media Instagram, YT underscore T loading, TikTok, and Twitter, T loading underscore. Like, subscribe to the channel and follow me, please. Please. All right. Just, I know y'all see the title of the video. What happened to the Bar Brothers? Now, well, this, will, this is how I'm going to start the video off. We're going to talk about their, uh, we're going to begin with their high school career right now. So let's talk about their high school career. When LaMelo, Leangelo and Alonzo play on the play on the same high school team. They went undefeated. And they won state championship. And they went crazy. Throwing alley oops, behind the back passes, lobs off the backboard, corner threes, pulling up from deep. They did all that, and they won state championship. Then year after Alonzo left to go to UCLA, it was just up to Leangelo and Lamelo to carry his legacy in Chino Hills. Chino Hills, we can say. I think they won a state championship, but I don't think they went undefeated. And then the year uh, after that, Leangelo left to went. He went to uh, UCLA, yeah, and LaMelo was just by himself in uh, Chino Hills. La LaMelo, I think that year when he played by himself, he ended up dropping 92 games, 92, I, I didn't mean 92 games, he ended up dropping 92 points in a high school game, let, let me say that again, he dropped 92 points in a high school game, and then he pulled up from half court, he pointed at the half court line and pulled up and he made it. Like, he had all the freedom in the world in high school. Like, the, the the trust is crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. The trust is crazy. But now, let's begin the video for real. We're going to be talking about the oldest to the youngest. All right? So, so we're going to start off with Lonzo Ball, right? So, in Lonzo, uh, uh, shoot, shoot, shoot. In Lonzo Ball, Lon Lonzo Ball was drafted in the 2017 NBA draft by the Lakers with the second, with the, uh, second pick in the NBA draft. In his first game, he ended up playing against the Clippers. He got harassed by Patrick Beverly. I think I think it was like the seven minute mark or six minute mark. It was something like that. He was making ill advised mistakes. He ended up making he ended up making Lonzo turn the ball over and stuff. But Lonzo hit him with a little cross and then he went to free throw line. Anyway, let's talk about Lonzo Ball rookie season with the Lakers. He played a total of fifty two games with the Lakers. Actually, I want let me go to my other screenshot because I don't like how that laid out. Okay. So he ended up playing a total of 52 games with the Lakers, you know, averaging 10 points, uh, seven, seven rebounds, seven assists. Now the year after his rookie season, he ended up with the Lakers, he ended up playing a total of 47 games, averaged 10 points, five rebounds, five assists. All right. Then the year after he got traded to New Orleans Pelicans in the 2019-2020 season. I think that this was the bubble year, if I'm uh if I'm not correct. He ended up playing a total of 63 games, the most games he ever played in his NBA career. He ended up uh, averaging 12 points, 6 rebounds, and 7 assists. Now, boy, he was diamond it up. In the, in the year after that, the 2021, in the 2020 and the 2021 season, he ended up playing a total of 55 games, 15, 15 points, 5 rebounds, and 6 assists. Now, the year he got traded to Chicago, which was the 2021-2022 season, he ended up playing 35 games, averaged 13, 13 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists. Now, in the 2022-2023 season, he didn't even play a game. So, he missed 82 games that year. So, in the t in total games he played in his career, in his whole career, he played a total of 252 games. And the games he missed with uh with injuries and stuff or whatever, the games he missed, the, his first year in the NBA with the Lakers, he missed 30 games. The second year, he ended up missing 35. Third year, he missed 19 games. The uh, fourth year, he ended up missing 27 games. In the year with Chicago, he ended up missing, uh, in the 2021-2022 season, he ended up missing 47 games. And this year, he ended up missing 82 games. Before we added the 82 games, he ended up missing a total of well, he ended up missing a total of 158 games played. And then we added the 82, so he ended up the games he didn't play. He ended up playing. He didn't play 240 games. So he ended up playing a career total of 252 games, and he ended up missing a career total of 240 games. So he almost he almost missing more games than he played right now with the injury. That's what we're here for. We're here to talk about lots of ball injuries because his injuries is kind of causing him costing his career right now. Because during the Lonzo Ball rookie season, he had a funky jump shot. He had he did he made ill advised mistakes, but he was doing good things at the same time. I I'm not sure. I'm not hundred percent sure. But I think his rookie season, he ended up averaging a triple double with LeBron. It was it was either his rookie season, either his rookie season or the year after that, he averaged a triple double with LeBron in a game. I think these were the second players to do that. Uh, I can't I can't really remember right now. But the year after that, 
he made improvements to his jump shot. He became more of a better shooter with the Lakers. He wasn't that good. He wasn't that good yet, but he made improvements, became a better passer. He struggled from the free throw line a little bit, as I, if I can't remember. I, I'm pretty sure he, he struggled from the free throw line. And then when he got traded to the New Orleans Pelicans, he, he was free. He didn't have to worry about all this stuff. He fixed his jump shot. He became a better shooter. He was, he was already known for his defense and uh, a beautiful passing. And then the year after that, he James he changed his jump shot for him. I'm pretty sure the year was is either the year he joined or the year he uh, I can't I really can't remember. I think the year he joined, he changed his jump shot completely. Instead of having it like come from his side of his face to the front of his face, it's his straight jump shot. He ended up changing his jump shot the year. He ended up be, becoming a better player like we already seen him. And then he was teamed up with Zion. They kind of had a, like a Lob City type of connection. They did their thing. They really can't do their thing for real, for real, because of injuries. Zion was in and out. Lonzo was in and out. But you, I, you, that that's the that's the thing about sports injuries. Injuries gonna cost you, because I think that team, the Pelicans, could have been a really good team if they uh injuries, if uh, if uh, Zion was in the game, if Zion played, uh probably like 60 games, and Lonzo played like 60 games each time, they probably could have been a daily backcourt, I'm not going to lie to you, or a crazy team. Then the, then the 2021-22, in the 2021-22, <laughs> in the 2021 and the 2022 season, he ended up going to the uh, Chicago Bulls. Now, we've seen, he was starting, he was starting for them, I think, most of the year, before he got hurt, or, yeah, before he got hurt, he was starting for them. He was going crazy. We seen highlights of him blocking shots, shooting threes with confidence, step back threes at that, like he's like he was in UCLA. He yeah, he was doing his thing. He was uh doing step backs, blocking shots, doing all these type of stuff. His confidence has he had like during when he first came in the league, his uh confidence was very low. But as soon as he as soon as soon as he got better and progressed in the league, his confidence grew. But now since uh last year, since he played zero games, I don't know how he's feeling right now. He got hurt the last game he played, which was against the Warriors. They ended up, got, they ended up getting blown out, but he had 15 points. I, I remember that. So let me pull up the stats, his uh, injuries, his uh, injury history. So the first injury he had was with the Lakers in 2017, which was a left shoulder, left shoulder sprain. And then the, uh, a year, going, we going into a year, uh, in the year 2018, he had a short left knee. Same year, 2018, two months later, he had a bruised left knee. So he had problems with that left knee. And then the same year, he had problems with his ankles two times. And in 2019, he had a problem with his left ankle to begin the year. And then 2019, again, he had a adductor. I don't know what that is, but but, but two times he had adductors. Like in the past two days from the 11th. It was eleven seven nineteen, and then another two days he had a, another adductor, and then the twenty nineteen again, in the same month he had an illness, and then in twenty twenty one he hasn't been injured since. Well, he wasn't injured for two years, so from nineteen to twenty one he wasn't really injured. But on uh, January January twelfth twenty twenty one he had it, he injured his knee, and then like like probably like two weeks, two to three weeks later he ended up hurting his ankle. Uh, and then he hurt his he hurt his hip two months later during March, and then he ended up hurting his well, no March he hurt his hip. My bad, my bad. If I said his ankle, and then a month later he hurt his hip again. And then uh, then uh, May he ended up injuring his thumb. Then in twenty in December, in twenty twenty one he had entered health health safety health safety protocols, and then. One five, and on January fifteenth, twenty twenty two, he had he had an injury on his knee. So it's been like he been mostly injured with his like lower 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 part of his body, like legs and knees and ankle. It's I think it's the way it has to be the way he lands or something. Yeah, it's the way he lands or something. Because I I remember watching one highlight when I was getting this video prepared. He ended up getting injured so weird, like. I don't know, like if his lower body, if his lower body is not like strong enough, like his upper body or something. He got too much weight or something. But something wrong. Like he having too many ankle problems, leg problems. He he not even jumping that height. He just moving around kind of funny. I don't know what it is. Or he laying on somebody's ankle or something. 
UCLA, he went crazy, obviously, as you already know. I, for, I forgot to mention that. It's my bad. UCLA, he dominated. He ended he end up dominating. He had His confidence was a, was on a whole different level on when he was playing with UCLA. And uh, he ended up losing to Aaron Fox in the Sweet 16 against... Uh, no, they won, didn't they? I, I can't... No, yeah, they won. They won. My, my, my bad. My bad. UCLA won. But um, now, let's talk about... Leangelo Ball. Leangelo Ball, he went undrafted, I think, the year he's supposed to go draft. Oh, actually, let's talk about this. Leangelo Ball was undrafted. He went to UCLA, and then when they went, I think, pre, it's like, what, what's it, preseason? Preseason or something like that. He went, They ended up flying to China to play against a team. He went to uh, a Louis Vuitton store or something like that. He, he went to a designer store. He ended up stealing some sun sunglasses, sunglasses out of all things. Then he was in jail in China for a couple of days. Then Trump had to get him out. Had, his Trump had to get him out of jail. Yeah, so so many things happening. It that long for him to get back to the United States. But after that incident, I think NBA teams was was scared to draft him or sign him at least that because he was he didn't even get picked up that year. He went undrafted. I think was it 2018 or was it 2019? I can't I can't remember. It had to be 2018. I really can't remember what year it was. He's supposed to get drafted. But he went undrafted. And then, after he went undrafted, I think for... Let me let me, let me go to my uh, pictures. My screenshots I have already. Um, Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Uh, I took a screenshot. Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay. So, I think he was, he was supposed to get drafted in 2018. I keep saying that. And then, I think he had to wait three years later... To join the G League team for the uh, Charlotte Hornets, it's, I think they call uh, Swainsboro or something like that. They what whatever it don't matter what they call. He ended up playing for the G League team for the Charlotte Hornets because he was it was news. He was off and on the roster for the uh, G League team in the uh, Charlotte for the uh, Charlotte Hornets roster. He was off and on. I think that's only because Lamelo Ball is on the team and they franchise player. But he was off and on. I I don't think he really even had a chance. After he, after he uh after they killed him multiple like at least the second time or third time I knew he was not gonna play an NBA game because that that's that's kind of funny he only played a few games in G League he only he didn't get a chance to play in the NBA he played some some uh summer league games he did good it's not like he's tr- terrible at basketball I think it's that incident that really messed him up to be honest with you but the year he played for the uh the Charlotte Hornets G League team. Was in 2021-22 season. He played a total of 28 games. He started six of them. Uh, yeah, he shot 47 percent from the field. So I don't even have his stats like his numbers, his uh points per game. And then the year after that, well, this year actually to be to be uh exact, 2022-2023 season for the uh, Charlotte Hornets uh, G League team. He only played a total of three games this year. Three games this year. That that's terrible. Like what happened? I, he ended up getting cut this year. I do remember that. But he only played a total of thirty one G League games. He's not that bad. He's much of a scorer. He he's a shooter. I think he's the best shooter in the ball family. To be honest with you, the best shooter hands down. And he's big. Uh, he's not a, much of a def- defensive player like Lonzo is, but he's a good shooter. Like you tell me, NBA teams don't need a good shooter to come off the bench or something like that. I think he'll be a good shooter. But like that, that's I find that crazy to me. Well, I, uh, shoot, what was I was about to say? What was I was about to say? After that incident in UCLA, people were scared to uh, hit him up and stuff. He played in he played in an overseas league in Louis. I can't even say the word Louisiana, something like that. Lithuania, Lithuania. Uh, yeah, he played with uh his brother Lamelo Ball. I think they was there for only a year, and they barely they barely got play time there. And yeah, he, well, no. Lamelo, oh, forget Lamelo. But Lamelo, Lamelo barely got play time. Jello played, but it it was iffy. It was iffy because they were very young going there, and they were just staying there by itself. And uh, shoot, what 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 else about uh, Jello? Oh, right now, right now he uh, right now he's having a baby actually. So congrats to Jello, but I, but he should be on the NBA roster, I think. I really think he should be on an NBA team at this moment because 
What team doesn't need a shooter? <coughs> Lakers, when they need a shooter. What team don't need a shooter? I know he's not much of a defender. He can probably can be a lot of a lot of, uh, liability on the defensive end. But he's big though. He like six five, six six. This dude is big, bro. He he's he's a big body. Like come on now. He can set some good screens, post up a little bit. He he got a look. He got a little uh good mid, good little post shot, and he just hit back with like uh Tim Duncan. But come on now, like he should be on the NBA roster. I'm just saying. Now, let's talk about Lamelo Ball, the youngest child of the family, the entertainer of the family, the big money. So a couple of days ago, Lamelo Ball ended up signing a new contract. Before we even get to, I just want to say, Lamelo Ball ended up signing a new contract with the Charlotte Hornets for like 260 million, I think, for five years or something like that. You know, drop they they dropped a bag on him. He is the franchise player. You know, dropping a bag on him. Now, let's talk about LaMelo, like we talking about uh, Lonzo, because he has been, he, he do have like a little injury in this. Uh, how many games, okay, LaMelo was drafted in the 2020, in the 2020 NBA draft with a, with the third, with the third round pick with, to the Charlotte Hornets. He ended up playing 51 games his rookie season. He ended up averaging 16 points, six rebounds, six assists. And then the second year after that, he ended up playing a total of 75 games. Wow, I really don't remember that. He ended up, he ended up playing 75 games. Wow. He played 75 games, averaged 20 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists. And then it, this year, he he only played a total of 36 games. He ended up uh, averaging 23 points, 6 rebounds, and 8 assists. He is dominant up. So each year, as he uh, as each year passed, he's progressed. He's gotten better, for real. With the assist, uh, points and rebounds, he's done his thing. So if I was to do my math right quick, let me uh do my math right quick. So he played a total of one hundred sixty two games. Okay, so if we do eighty two minus thirty six. Let me do this right quick. Uh, okay, six. He he uh. This year he missed forty. He missed forty six games. Let me just write that clear. 46 games, then 82 minus 75, 12, 7. He only missed seven games uh, in the 2021-2022 seasons. So, and then we do 82 minus 51, 82 minus 51, 82 minus 51, 31. All right, so 46, 7, and 31. So we're gonna add this up. Thirteen, fourteen, five. He so in the total, the years he played, he played a number of one hundred sixty-two NBA games total. And he missed only sixty-nine games. That's not bad. I thought he'll miss more, considering he he always hurt his ankle and stuff, which is crazy. I don't understand how much he hurt. I don't understand how much they hurt the ankle. That drives me crazy. So we're gonna talk about his injuries list. His uh, yeah, his injury history. In the 2021, in uh, March 2021, he ended up hurting his wrist. And then, like, uh, eight months later, he ended up hurting his hip in 2021. Then, one, one month later, after during December, he was in health and safety, health and safety protocols. And then, uh, a whole year later, he ended up having an ankle problem in 2022. And then, he had another ankle problem the month, uh, the month, the month in November in 2022. He had another ankle problem. December, two days after Christmas, he had a shoulder injury. Then January 18, 2023, he ended up having an ankle injury. And then recently, on February 27, 2023, he had another ankle injury. I don't know what's up with these Ball brothers having ankle injuries. Like, are they not drinking enough milk? Are they not working out their body good enough? Or, like, I, I seen the clips of LaMelo getting hurt. Uh, He randomly twists his ankle. Like, I don't know what it is. Is he, does he not have control of his body when he makes certain movements? Some some of them do be accidents. He don't like, but it's the way he land, like all that different type of stuff. It has a lot to do with that. But that that drives me crazy though. But as the years progress, he he is getting better as a player though. But the main topic of the video is what happened to the Bar Brothers, because they do not have that same excitement that we've seen. They well, to the media. Let me just say that to the media. They don't have the same excitement they had in high school and during the uh, Ball and the Family series on Facebook. They don't have the same excitement besides LaMelo Ball. He has the same excitement, but Lonzo and Jello, they haven't been the same 
since their high school days or college days, to be honest with you. Lonzo has gotten better, but right now he's just he's just injury prone right now. He's got better in the NBA, but he's just injury prone. Leangelo, he just haven't had a chance to prove himself to the uh, other to the other teams in the NBA because of his past. But he that yeah, that's why you gotta be careful what you do when you uh out of states. You gotta be real careful. But our brothers just don't bring the same swagger they did once before they before they entered the NBA draft. Besides Lamelo and Lonzo. Lonzo, he just been injury prone. Like I said, Lamelo, he been keeping the same energy. He just been getting injured with his ankle. His ankle, like I don't know what it is, but their ankles are like are like glass or something like that. They know they twist the ankle so much, it's crazy. But like, if y'all like this video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow your boy on social media, Instagram, YTN underscore T Loading, TikTok, and Twitter, T Loading underscore. I talk to you later, and I'm out. Peace.